Welcome back to Gamefront's top 20 list of the best game overs of all time. To avoid wasting any more of your time, let's say we just jump right into... Number 10! Prior to Resident Evil 2 in most games, you took your last hit, keeled over, and got a game over screen. RE2 truly relished in your death by having unique death sequences play out depending on the enemy that killed you as the camera spins around your dying body. And if that's not enough, you also get a blood splatter and a stating of the obvious. You died. Number 9. Sometimes, simplicity is king. Friday the 13th was a completely forgettable game outside of the brutal honesty of its game over screen. You and your friends are dead. Game over. Number 8. Rare sure loved their game over sequences back in the N64 days. The thing that made Conker's sequence so cool was that it changed depending on how you died. Fell off a cliff and exploded to bits? Took too many hits? The uniqueness of each sequence made it actually a goal to kill yourself and try to find all these funny little scenes. Number 7 As disturbing as the arcade version of Ninja Gaiden's Game Over Countdown is, does anyone find this kind of silly? I mean, imagine the guy operating the saw saying, Either put a quarter in the slot or I swear to god I'll spire this guy's inside all over the place! Still, silly motivations aside, this one's a classic. Number 6 Yet again, Rare proves itself to be the master of the long-form game over sequence. Ever wonder what would happen to Peach if Mario never rescued her? Well, Rare decided to explore a similar concept in Banjo-Kazooie. If you fail to rescue your sister Tootie, the witch Gruntilda successfully steals her beauty and turns her into a beast, who also happens to be super pissed. Number 5 Joker's constant teasing of Batman is one of the aspects about his character that makes him such a great villain. Which is why dying in Arkham Asylum isn't so bad when you get to hear a bunch of quips of Joker celebrating his victory. Plus, these scenes change depending on what villain you're fighting. Try dying in the fight against Bane to see one of the most infamous moments in the history of Batman's comics play out. Number 4 Another great countdown to your death game over. Lose in Mortal Kombat 4 and you basically either continue or you get to see your character impaled on a spike at the bottom of a pit. If you got a fatality performed on you prior to that, it's like two fatalities for the price of one. Number 3 While most game over screens are about making you feel like a failure, Sega Rally Championship manages to put a positive spin at the end of your game. Number 2 Man, there's so much to love about Metal Gear Solid 3's game over screen. First you get the classic music and the SNAKE! 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 But then there's also actually easter eggs. Since Metal Gear Solid 3 takes place prior to Metal Gear Solid 1 and MGS2, if you hang on on the game over screen, you'll begin to see the letters change from Mission Failed to Time Paradox. Plus, you can actually get a different game over screen by killing key characters in the MGS timeline. Hell, even one of the boss battles in the game tries to fool you with a false game over screen. But despite all that, there is truly only one title that can be given the honor of having the best game over of all time. Number 1 As great as Metal Gear Solid 3's game over is, it still can't top the awesomeness that is the game over song from Total Distortion. I don't even need to say anything else, I mean just listen to this song. I wish all game overs could have this song play. Cuts like a knife. You are dead, dead, dead. What a pitiful waste of a human life. You are dead, dead, dead. Your heart has stopped and your brain is cold. You were so, so dead. And now your body is starting to mold. You were so, so Sad, sad story, you're 